Alice Parker revolutionized heating with her natural gas system in the early 20th century. I used this natural gas. With it, people wouldn't have to go out, collect, and chop wood. It was convenient and produced enough heat for a home to get through the cold winters. It also reduced the risk of fires because there was no need for the fireplace to burn at night. On December 23rd, 1919, Burnvention, called the heating surface, received a patent, but it was never put into commercial production. Still, it plays a key role in the development of the heating systems we have today. Number two, Marie Van Britten Brown, Invention, Home Security System. Marie Brown was a black woman woman who invented the first closed-circuit television security system. In 1966, Marie, with the help of her husband, created a system that would help them see who is at the front door. She used a sliding camera, four peepholes, TV monitors, and two-way microphones. This was the start of modern-day CCTV. Of course, the invention was much bulkier and took up more space than today's security systems, but it was such a renowned invention that it was recognized in the New York Times. Marie also got an award from the National Scientists Committee. Number three, Sarah Elizabeth Goode, Invention, Folding Cabinet Bed. In the late 1800s, apartments were very small units. People had limited space, and many couldn't fit the kind of furniture we use today. Goode wanted to offer people the convenience of everyday furniture without sacrificing too much living space. She invented space-saving furniture known as the folding cabinet bed. Her folding cabinet could be used as a desk. Patricia Bath, Invention, Laser Faco. Dr. Bath changed the face of medicine. She was a laser scientist and ophthalmologist. In 1986, she invented a new technique and device for cataract surgery called laser faco. This method helped remove cataracts, which are a major cause of blindness. This invention harnessed laser technology. It created a more precise and less painful cataract treatment. Dr. Bath was the first black woman doctor to get a patent in the medical field, which is a mostly male-dominated industry. She also holds patents in Europe, Canada, and Japan. Number five, Miriam E. Benjamin. Invention, gong and signal chair for hotels. In 1888, Miriam Miriam Benjamin received a patent for a chair that would decrease the expenses of hotels by reducing the number of attendants and waiters. The goal was to add comfort and convenience for guests. It would remove the need to call and hand clap to get the necessary services. Here is how her invention worked. There was a button on the back of the chair. After pressing it, it would send a signal to a waiter. A light on the chair would stay on to notify the waiter of which guest needs assistance. This invention is the predecessor of the modern day airplane signaling system for stewardesses. Number six, Marjorie Joyner, Invention, Permanent Hair Weave Machine and Scalp Protector. Marjorie Joyner was an African-American businesswoman and beautician. She was known for creating a new device for curling hair. At the time, black women were using hot curling irons to style their hair, but it took a very long time, and women could only use one iron at a time. To speed up the hair waving process, she created a device that used multiple rods hung above the client's head. These rods then roll a couple of sections of the hair at once. It heats the hair and creates a hairstyle that it can hold for days. In 1928, Joyner received a patent for her invention. Salons quickly started using it. A year later, she also received a patent for a scalp protector. Number 7. Sarah Boone. Invention. The ironing board. Sarah Boone wasn't the first person to invent an ironing board, but was the first woman to create an improvement to the ironing board. In the 1800s, people would heat irons on a fire or a stove. They would then cover a table with a thick cloth, usually a kitchen table. Those who could afford it would prop an ironing board. At the time, ironing boards were bulky and wide. Boone's improved ironing board was designed to be effective for ironing ladies' garments and sleeves. It was curved, narrow, and reversible. This made it easy to iron sleeves on both sides.